Thanks to social media, we have a chance to see... Texas? Fly to heat up the... <laughs> Um, and also all the guys take skills. We all, I think, love to planch our frontal, which is cool. But this desire will become dangerous when you will be literally obsessed with skills. Or it doesn't have to be only with skills. But why is the neck? Why? Isn't the more I will practice the planch, the faster I will get it? Plus then eventually get better and better at doing it? Hmm. It is fact that training planche once a week will get you probably either nowhere or you will progress slowly. But the other side of that, training it every day, is also a really bad decision. <laughs> I promote the importance of basics a lot, which you need to master first before you even start thinking about skills, or in the worst case being obsessed with them. Because then they will most likely stop you from working out or in the worst case, end your whole Kaisteng's journey forever. <laughs> now sit down, because I will tell you a short story of me being a total no-brain guy, which caused me almost never being able to train again. It is the end of 2017, a beautiful winter as always, and 16 years old than it. Um, why I'm saying that like it was 20 years ago? <laughs> Anyways, I decided to start calisthenics for real, because to that point I did pretty much only handstands, sometimes. So I started working out on these bars with pulling off three half rep chin ups, which was totally understandable, looking at my body, which didn't change over those years. <laughs> Anyways, after summer holidays, I came across some weird exercises. And what happened? Yes, I started chasing skills and with having literally almost zero muscles and strength, it went kinda well, <laughs> like at least there was some kind of progress. But that quickly stopped, because strength is gained faster than muscle size and so the era of slow progress began. Anyways, I kept grinding and grinding statics no matter what, because I was so blinded by the love and maybe even obsessed. And basically I never thought that I'm just a weak piece of f I wanted so much to be like all the high level athletes, which led to and now sit tight, because I started, after a year of basics, doing a <laughs> I'm not sure if I had any brain at the time and I have to laugh at it, <laughs> but a few weeks after I started doing it, I wasn't laughing at all. It was a cold spring afternoon and I did my regular workout, full of skills as always, without a t-shirt, you know, to be a boss. <laughs> after two hours, which is crucial, I decided to do again a negative hefesto with 15 kgs bent, which was the dumbest idea I've ever had. Because in the middle of the move, I heard something snapped in my bicep. Or in my shoulder, I don't really know. And you know what? I still kept working out for a few more minutes. <laughs> Why? Why? The next day, I felt the real consequence. My overhead shoulder mobility was pretty much gone. And if I had managed to somehow get my arm up, it was painful. Three months later, my PE teacher scheduled an appointment at one of her really good doctors, where he discovered just by a few movements with my arm that my shoulder labrum is damaged, which isn't life-threatening condition, but not ideal for working out. That one or two seconds resulted in five months of no calisthenics at all, and another thing I believe I got from it is that shaking while doing anything. Like my muscles shake even while doing the easiest exercise, you know. Anyways, God gave me a second chance and so I started working out again, which was quite difficult because I had to have always the arms slightly bent, but then I eventually solved it by going through the pain in dead hangs and then doing full range of motion pull-ups, which gave my body like an impulse to repair it. So I went through all this, just to not learn the front lever of planche anyways. 
And this was just one story. I believe there are thousands of guys which had injured themselves by doing statics like me. Or Hephaestus is not statics, but you know. When you are obsessed with skills and you don't have those needed muscles for it and strength, it will lead you to injury sooner or later. And I will tell you this. No matter how strong you will be, planche, maltis or one arm front row will be always dangerous moves to perform and they will never become stuff you can do every workout. Wellington, Christoph, Lysans or anybody from the top level can injure themselves anytime. Because if they are every workout doing full maltis, full planche push-ups, it can lead to micro tears and then BOOM! Something will give up. Submarine incident. What the f*** is this piece of sh**? You know, it's the same. It was little bit damaged but could withstand few more dives until it couldn't. Recently, Viktor Kamenov injured himself while doing Zenity Press, before him Larosa or for example Vitaly Festchuk with Hefesto. No matter how strong you think you are, it will never become as easy as standing on your legs, for example. Why Lysans never does Maltese with supinated grip or one arm front pull ups? He could maybe do it, but the risk is enormous. So, guys, be careful with skills and please don't be obsessed with them because you can end up with torn bicep tendon or something even worse. You are not invincible, so play it safe and smart. Get plenty of rest and quality food, which is essential more and more the older you get. Hope you guys liked this video, it was not as positive video as, as usual, but even this side of working out needs to be promoted or like, you know, you, you know what I meant. <laughs> so I wish you good luck on your journey. As I said, train smart, rest, get plenty of protein. Take care guys. <laughs>